Mr. Doggett's amendment, um, it's incredibly important that we continue to make sure there's coverage for everyone in our country, um, and especially those who have pre-existing conditions and are concerned about what the future looks like. Um, I have a story from a constituent of mine, Diane, from Sumas, Washington, um, and her story is a heartbreaking story. Before the ACA, Diane's daughter, Sari, um, an otherwise healthy young woman, died unexpectedly at the age of 25. Um, they didn't know that her headaches were a symptom of a life-threatening condition. Um, she had been recommended an MRI, but at the time she didn't have health care coverage and was afraid of the cost, and she thought her headaches might just be migraines. Um, it turned out that her headaches were a very serious condition, a condition, though, that was treatable if only she had been able to have that MRI. Um, her parents found out later that she had signed up for insurance, um, but again, this was before the ACA, and she had been in the waiting period and hadn't had a and didn't live in enough to, uh, long enough to receive that MRI. Diane also found out that her other daughter um, also had been experiencing headaches and has a brain condition. Her other daughter's brain condition was discovered because she did have an MRI that was covered by health insurance as a result of the Affordable Care Act. Now Diane has one daughter that was lost because she did not have access to care in sessional care that she needed, and another daughter with a pre-existing condition. Um, the Affordable Care Act is protecting her second daughter, and we should do all we can to guarantee that those protections remain in place for Diane's family, for everyone across our country who has a pre-existing condition, for my constituents who are here in the room with us today, um, whose family has experienced juvenile diabetes and want to make sure we have coverage across the country for people who are going to have a pre-existing condition throughout their life. This should be something that we should be unified on in a bipartisan fashion. I urge my colleagues to support this amendment, and I yield back. The gentlelady yields back, Mr. Roskin.